Hi everybody. Today we are going to discuss about the design of electrical machines. It was the one of the very essential subject for the electrical engineer. The main objective is to study of MM of calculation and thermal rating of various types of electrical machines. So the MM of calculation, this magnetomotive motive force calculation is very essential to design of particular machines. So that is the first objective. The second one, to design armature and field system for DC machines. Armature and field systems of DC motors and uh, DC generators that we are going to de uh, design based on the output equations of the DC machines. Then third one, design of core, yoke and winding and cooling system of transformer. The transformer is static device. The without that particular device, we can't uh, distribute the entire electricity from one, air, one location to another location. As per the design point of view, the core and yoke windings and cooling systems are very essential. Then, coming for fourth objective to design of stator and rotor induction machines. The single phase and three phase induction machines, slip ring and squirrel cage induction machines, stator and rotor we are going to design. Then the last objective is synchronous machines and its thermal behavior, then main dimensions that is a diameter and length we are going to design it. So the particularly in the design of electrical machines, the all type of rotating machines we have considered based on the output equations, diameter and length was the very essential factors. That is the main dimension. It will come under the category of main dimensions. Apart from that, the stator and rotor. If it is the DC machines and the armature and field system. And AC machines means the stator and rotor. Transformer means the core and winding. So, this are all the machines we are going to design particularly in this subject the unit one the major consideration of electrical machine designs the before we are starting any kind of machines machine design first we look, look into that the cost and durability and performance and where they are going to fix the particular machines, what is the environmental conditions like that. Some parameters are majorly considered before uh, designing, before start designing the particular machines. And the electrical engineering materials, what are all the electrical engineering materials are available, conducting materials, insulating materials and superconducting materials and cooling systems etc that we are going to discuss deep into particular contact uh, content the phase factor the copper area to the winding area a total copper area to the winding area like that a total winding area to the conductor occupied area that is the phase factor based on the machines it can be varied then the choice of electrical, specific electrical and magnetic loading. The electrical loading, what are the electrical parameters considered? Electrical components are uh, used, that's the conductors. Then the specific magnetic loading, that is the major factor for rotating machines, specific electrical loading and magnetic loading based on that. We need to derive the output equations and number of poles and flux and speed, etc. The ampere conductors, etc. Flux density, etc. 
then the thermal considerations based on the insulating materials how it will withstand uh, the temperature variations in the particular machines that we are going to consider the thermally and the, how it is the thermal behavior is there in the particular insulating materials and conducting materials etc then heat flow temperature rise and insulating material you can consider any kind of machines whether it is rotating or stable one the heat was developed because the flow of current it is based on the load while we are giving the load the current has been increased up to certain limit the simultaneously the temperature was developed the developed temperature how it is uh, dissipating from internal to external surroundings that we are going to consider and the particular content that is the heat flow temperature rise and insulating materials behaviors then the rating of machines then based on the load the power rating as well as the current rating has been considered in the particular application either the machine was continuously loaded or short timely loaded or continuous uh, with periodic loading like that so that rating we can consider in the case of uh, rating of electrical machines then standard specifications the standard fishing what all the standard specifications already existing first we need to consider the standard for specifications are standard dimensions are standard parameters are standard speed etc because based on that we are going to design the um, machines without knowing the standards we can't design any kind of machines that's why the standard specification we must aware in the design of particular machines then the unit 2 the first unit only the introduction and basics the real design was involved in the dc machines from the second unit alone the output equations and main dimensions the em of equations already were studied in the electrical machines 1 and 2 so here the directly we are consider for the em of equation based on that we can derive the output equation from that we are founded uh, output coefficient and uh, main dimensions the main dimensions nothing but uh, that's some diameter and length then choice of specific electric and magnetic loading the based on that here the specific electric average magnetic flux density as well as the total number of ampere conductor required in the particular machines that is the specific electric and magnetic loading it was uh, selected carefully based on the potential frequency etc then the magnetic circuit calculations the how the em of sorry mm of was developed there are, there are four different categories we are consider we'll discuss in briefly the cathode coefficient and net length of ion and real and apparent flux density it is all are come under the category of magnetic circuit calculations then the four selection procedures while you are designing the this machines how you can select the fold what are the basic criteria they are fixed so that is the separate procedures was there that we will discuss the design of armature and design of competitor and brushes then performance prediction using design values the design of armature that's a separate procedure either sun phase and system or series like the design of competitors and brushes the commutator the commutation is one of the very essential process in the dc machines here only because here only we are using the commutator and brushes then the performance prediction using design values so the performance predictions the machine performance after we are designed after we are fixed the main dimensions we need to select the specific electric and magnetic loading based on that mm of all calculations we are calculate mm of uh, required mm of in the field and armature we are calculated and the number of poles was selected then armature was designed uh, designed then commutator and brushes was designed 
After finishing this all parameters, the machine's design was completed. So we need to find it out the particular machine performance by used design values. That is the category of performance prediction using design values. Then what are the design values we are fixed? Then uh, how the performance was? That that the performance in the sense of uh, efficiency and loadability and regulation etc so initially we are calculated the main dimensions and uh, mm of required then armature parameters commutator and brush length and dimensions etc based on that before designing before uh, implementing or before manufacturing process of the particular uh, dc machines we need to determine that's a predict we need to predict the design values based performance of the particular machines that will come under the category of performance prediction using design values then the unit 3 is the transformer the here also we are considered the output equations and main dimensions then kva rating of the single and three phase transformer then windows phase factor design of core and windings and overall dimensions that all in will come under the category of the output equations because the main dimension here the height and the length of the transformer then overall dimensions what are the what is the distance between the adjacent cores like that some what is the overall height what is the window height and transformer height like that, the overall dimensions we can uh, see based on the diagram and operating con characteristics and no load current and temperature rise of the transformer so the operating char characteristics of the particular machines what is the efficiency what is the no load current then temperature how it is uh, raised what is the what are all the various methods of cooling provisions are available air natural oil natural air forced oil forced etc there's so many cooling methods are available that we are going to discuss while uh, coming for the particular content then the transformer uh, tank design that's a cooling tube design that all it will come the transformer uh, design categories then unit 4 here induction machines here also the first the output equation of the induction motor then main dimension then size of average flux density that is the specific magnetic loading and specific electric loading also we are considered here then length of air gap that is air gap is nothing but that is the distance between the stator and rotor or gap is between the stator and rotor then what are the basic rules are there while you are selecting the rotor slots and the spoil cage machines and the rotor bars and slots for the spoil cage machines and design of end rings so that is it will come under the category of uh, spoil cage induction machine Similarly, the wound rotor, that's a slip ring induction motor also we are going to design. So there, what is the magnetic leakage calculation, leakage reactance of the polyphase machines, what is the magnetic current, short circuit current and operating characteristics and losses and efficiency. So this all it will come under the category of uh, design of wound rotor. See, while you are coming for a fourth unit, the induction motors divided into two categories. One is the slip ring and the spoil cage induction machine. The first half of the unit, we are going to design the spoil cage induction motor. And the second half of the machine unit, we are going to design the wound rotor. That means slip ring induction motor. Then unit 5, it is... Um, alternators the another name is the synchronous machines that is the alternator that we are going to design it here anyhow here also 
the output equations were derived based on that uh, specific of size sorry size of specific electric and magnetic loading design of saline pool machines and uh, short circuit ratio and shape of pole face armature design and parameters and the uh, air gap length estimations then rotor and damper winding here uh, while we are considering for the synchronous machines here additionally the winding is the damper winding it was very essential for the synchronous machines this the determination of full load field mmf and field winding and the design of turbo alternators and rotor designs so the turbo alternator it should be different from the previous design because that's a that was separate design requirements was there that we will discuss in the particular content so this was the very basics in the particular uh, this was the very basics in the particular of uh, design of electrical machines in the upcoming sections we will discuss into deeply in each and every content thank you